What's up YouTube? Let's make another prediction check, this time on the um, Australian Grand Prix, but not before looking at the podium for F1.5 in Australia. Now without further ado, let's look at the Chainback Questionnaire, which, let's be honest, is looking rather good for Dan. And first we'll start on question number three, naming all of the podium sitters. Of course, everyone on the podium in this race were from a top team, obviously, meaning that we all get three points. I mean, everyone voted for every single one of the top drivers. Most driver of the awards, for obvious reasons, the only one given so far is to Valtteri Bottas. And very well deservingly so. And to the next prediction, to the next prediction on question eight, which driver will gain the most positions from start to flag? Me and Dan have this one on the bag for now because with Lance Stroll starting P16, being impeded by Drojan, and fighting all the way up to P9, he is leading the standings on question eight. Of course, this. It's just the first race, everything could happen, but it is a pretty good result. Now for number two, and let me do a bit of an explanation here, percentage of points for top three teams. On the normal score, the one that the FIA has been using since 2010, the top teams have scored so far. 79% of all of the available of all the points that have been awarded. But you may see that other percentage, 62%. That's for the 50 and down system, which I think should be adopted, and I'm already testing on this season. The 50 and down system um, puts score on every single finishing driver and a few extra points for pole position for second on the grid for third on the grid fastest lap and driver of the day so yeah and if you if you see no team is without points in the 15 down and the percentage for the top teams being 62 rather than 79 for me, counted a very good reason to adopt the 15 down. Now let's get to question number 15, which engine manufacturer will earn the most average points? And both the 25 and down and the 50 and down all agree that Mercedes uh, are ahead on this one, with the second place being a disagreement between Honda for the 50 and down and Ferrari for the for the 25 and down. Renault being the last overall. And with Dan at the top of the standings, no one has the 20th question on the bag so far. This could change at any point, but we'll have to see. The season is still pretty much ahead let's look at the chamber bingo versus and we're only going to look at one prediction because it was bottas not technically fighting team orders but getting back at james in an absolutely brilliant fashion well that's payback from last year about three indeed to whom it may concern fuck you And with that, we have a total of three points for the Chain by Bingo versus with Sean on the lead on the lead on his individual board. And for my predictions board for the season, let's first take a look at the predictions of the topless pictures because Nick De Vries has uploaded this one to his Instagram after a long stint 
in Sebring, which, if I'm not mistaken, took him all the way to second in his class for the, I think, WEC. Uh, that's Racing Team Netherlands, obviously. Nick de Vries will be joining Lewis Hamilton on the, um, on the point we already have for that prediction and Charles Leclerc and Daniel Ricciardo for a total of 4 out of 8 or half a point. Tain is with first lap drama, of course we only have one round done with a first lap drama. This first lap drama in Australia being that Daniel Ricciardo hit a piece of grass and ripped off a front wing. And that's not even to mention the fact that Valtteri Bottas Stormed into, stormed into the inside of Lewis Hamilton on turn one in the first lap, and just disappeared into the lead. Lance Roll answering his critics. Of course, this is not for a bonus point so far, but haters are gonna hate, and some people still insist that that, that gaining seven positions is irrelevant. I say bollocks to that. I say he answered his critics so far, and I think that is worth a point for a total of 4.5 on my predictions board, and a total of 21 and a half so far. It's just the Australian Grand Prix so far, so we still have a lot to do, and if you want you could follow this new fan, fan page I opened on Instagram, and I guess I'll see you on the next one.